Hello, and welcome to Malaysian Horror Stories channel. Today, we will be sharing about Pontianak. What is a Pontianak? The Pontianak is a vampire slash ghost, that exists in Malay and Indonesian mythology. They are rumored to be the spirits of women, who perished during pregnancy. Pontianak is often described, as an astral female spirit or another version of this figure is a woman's spirit, or with long sharp fingernails. Some culture believes that, they are spirit of a woman unable to give birth while her stillborn child was inside her womb. Indonesian mythology portrays Kuntalanak as the spirits of women who never had children. Whether they are spirit of a woman who died in childbirth, or a violent death, till today. They are one of the most powerful and feared spirits of Indonesian and Malaysian folklore. The Pontianak is derived from myths and folk tales, some of which are particularly popular in Kalimantan, Borneo. Being one of the most famous pieces of Indonesian folklore, it inspired the name of a capital city in the western Kalimantan region, called Pontianak. It was named after this creature because it apparently haunted the first sultan who lived there. In Malaysia, law depicts them as vampiric bloodsuckers that rip through the internal organs of men. How do they look like? The Pontianak is often depicted as a beautiful woman with pale skin, red eyes, and long black hair. She is often dressed in a blood-smeared white dress. The Pontianak can disguise herself using the appearance of a beautiful woman to lure its prey. And yes, most of their preys are mainly man. The Pontianak is also described as changing into a more monstrous form when she captures her prey which is typically men or helpless or vulnerable people. Because she is bloodthirsty and has a carnivorous nature, a Pontianak can also appear as a beast or a ghost resembling almost like the Dracula vampire. Pontianak only appears under the full moon, and typically announces her presence with the cries of infants or feminine laughter. It is said that if the sounds are quiet, she is nearby, but if they are loud, she is far away. Some sources also state, that a dog howling at night indicates that a Pontianak is present, but not too close. If the dog whines, then a Pontianak is nearby. Its presence is also said, to be heralded by a floral fragrance, identifiable as that of the plumeria flower, followed by a stench, similar to that of a decaying corpse. The Pontianak kills her victims by using her long fingernails to physically remove their internal organs to be eaten. In cases where the Pontianak desires revenge and retribution against a man, it is said to eviscerate the victim with its hands. If a victim has their eyes open when a Pontianak is near, she will suck them out of their head. The Pontianak is said to locate her prey by the scent of their clean laundry. Because of this, some Malaysians refuse to leave any piece of clothing outside their house overnight. The Pontianak is associated with banana trees, and her spirit is said to reside in them during the day. According to folklore, a Pontianak can be fought off by driving a nail into the hole on the nape of her neck, which causes her to turn into a beautiful woman and a good wife until the nail is removed. So, when you see a beautiful pale-skinned woman with long hair and dressed in white at night, beware, as she might be a Pontianak. If you are a man, and you come across this sight in the middle of the night, in an isolated area, especially when driving alone on a deserted road, do not stop your car. You never know, this might be your last stop. That is all from Malaysian Horror Stories.